Welcome back to another day of So This Is Vlogmas. It's the 20th of December, uh, Sunday the 20th of December. So, you know, it's getting really close to Christmas now. Uh, I don't know how ready the garden room is going to be, ready for us to sit in and make room to have a Christmas a table in the house because to shift the stuff out to have Christmas dinner. I don't know, but we'll just see what happens. So let's open the calendar. It's can you believe it? There's only four things left to open, and uh, and the one the twentieth was right at the bottom. <laughs> it it's small, but it's it's weighty for something so small. I'm intrigued. I'm I'm really sorry about yesterday's video. Uh, after I, obviously I'd put all the videos together, and I try and cut little bits out to try and shorten it. I couldn't believe it was fifty-seven minutes in the end. So if you watched all that, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So here we go, the twentieth of December, and that. But it's folded like that, so it's that kind of size and it's that thickness. Oh, I haven't told you what I'm wearing today. I am wearing a shopboard jumper. It's knitted and it's got little pearls over it. And I'm wearing my red work badge that I made the, this um, December. So I've got something a little bit me made on it. Um, so I would like, I would have probably made more, uh, actually made Christmas jumpers uh, more so than wore some of the shop boards. But I, I don't, I don't know if I'm just not very good at buying fabric. But I don't do very well. I have these ideas what I want uh, with garments. But finding the fabric, and I think I'm quite fussy with colours and things. And uh, yeah, and I don't do too well actually. So anyway, I'm going to open the calendar. It's round. I can see it's round. It's a badge. Oh, oh no, it's not. I thought it was a badge. It looked like one and now I feel it. Oh, it's a mirror. So basically, it's a mirror that's kind of like in style of a badge look. Right? <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to see, you see, you know, reflection of my phone, do you? But, um, yeah, so, and look, see those? Uh, Mandy, right, um, gets inspired by like books and things and I know she gets it she was very inspired by I think it was like a it was called the little angels handbook or something like that I remember saying in the past when I watched her in like a studio to a uh, tour that I saw um and basically uh, these little angels that are in this book have been an inspiration to her for like a quilt. She's got like um, a medallion, a medallion quilt is like a square quilt that's got like a centerpiece and you kind of work out. They're, they're really delightful. Uh, I kind of like them more than block style quilts, really. I kind of like that kind of square with this centerpiece that kind of works out. And Mandy's got a quite an old quilt design now where she has these angels and uh, and they're lovely, aren't they? So that's a lovely little mirror to keep, um, you know, in my handbag, isn't it? Lovely. I can check to see, actually. I'm always getting a black uh, gloop in mascara gloop in my eyes so I always have to do that when I get in the car I have to have a quick look and see if I've got any gloops when I get out I'm not getting out with all this gloop on me anyway so what is happening today well when I leave you here um because it's like nearly 20 past 10 now actually somebody's at the door let me get the door right I'm back am I a bit wonky I'm going to try straighten it a little bit right it was um it was Amazon delivering something for my husband and you know, I nearly ripped the thing open and thought, oh gosh, let's check the name and it was my husband's. It's a good job because it could be a Christmas present, couldn't it? You know, they might ruin something. So uh, anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Monday's website and then I'll come back to you. So back in a minute, just take you over. 
Now this is Mandy's website today. She says day 20 mirror. It's all getting a bit closer. Don't stress, all will get done. Get the lippy out, empower yourself. Check out occasionally with your special uh, dandelion designs mirror designed and made especially for you. Right, I'm back. Um, what I did after I left you yesterday in the evening, I cut out um three uh, mice, Mandy Shaw's uh, mice from that book. I can't show you the book now because I've got it upstairs. I cut them out and I sewed the large mouse together, uh, put his ears on, put his whiskers in. He just hasn't got eyes, nose and a tail and a little neck piece that I'm going to be using this going round his neck so I'm going to sew up the other mice and um, I don't know what to do because Mandy uses beads for the eyes and a beads for the nose so I don't know um, what I've got really in my stash in the way of black beads and things so I might end up doing French knots for eyes and I might end up doing some embroidery stitches for the noses but I'm not quite sure yet so it's something that I'm just going to be pottering around um, you know in the evenings and things Things. And uh, and I don't know what else I'm going to be doing yet. Obviously, sprouts is uh, one of the things as well, isn't it? So if I if I like that yarn anyway. So yeah, I've not got any major like cutting out plans in here or anything. Just kind of tidying up. I did uh, pick up some more plastic wallets yesterday because I've got quite a few um, patterns I need to store. Like, you know, for example, do you know the Carolyn pyjamas that I recently made? Now I've had all the pattern pieces out. It's really, really bulky. I'm struggling to get the pattern piece back in. And here's some of the pattern pieces in here and the ones I've traced. So it, I've got a lot going, because you've got to bear in mind, it's a top and a bottom, and there's a trouser version, uh, a long sleeve version, and a shorts version. So you've got a lot going on, so I'll be trying to condense that down and putting that in a plastic folder today, because um, I've run out of them. And I've got a few others um, that I need to kind of go through and sort, and what I tend to do is I put... Um, I put them on, oh gosh, they're going to fall off now. I put them on uh, in there and then I'll get a Sharpie and I write what's on them. And I've got a box down here. Well, I've got three, no, two Christmas bags. You know, like a Christmas bag that you use, you know, uh, that you give gifts in. Uh, these actually fit in some Christmas bags. So I've got two Christmas bags down here and I've got a box with sewing patterns in um so yeah i've got i think i'm gonna have to kind of really think about my storage um in the new year but um if you've watched my videos before you will know that i'm um i'm not properly set up in here i'm moving out of here to have things change in here and then i'm moving back so i'm not all that fussy at the moment with my craft room organization as long as i can find things fairly easily to craft with i don't mind but it's not the you know the how i want my room so that's something for the new year you know so basically i'm going to be moving into the room that's the other side of this hallway um and then basically my husband will kind of get this sort it out and then i'll move back into it so uh yeah so watch this space for the new year so there's gonna be lots going on in the new year lots of makes and uh and more home renovations so anyway i'm going to go now um i'm going to go and make my husband a copper because he's out there my eldest son is digging the um the grass up to make a path because we don't want to be walking dirt into the house and uh dirt into the garden room so um we've got a load of membrane and stone and things to go down that was one of the deliveries last week when i said i didn't know what i had delivered it was a load of stone um to, to make a path i think we're having a mirandering path i think not a straight one so uh yeah so watch this space and uh i'll be back later uh with anything of interest i'm sorry that i'm not really taking you out much but this really like i haven't got a lot of desire to go anywhere and there's not really much going on um i was watching um um michelle michelle sewing bunny and uh like one of her 
earlier vlogmases because I am trying to watch other people's vlogmases but because I'm doing it it makes it quite difficult to keep on top of other people that I follow doing them and uh, and she went to um a market town like her town and they've got all the little stalls but my town they're not doing anything we've got nothing you know you you okay there's a few lights up but yeah Christmas is really not what I'm used to really you know you can't go to the cinema and things can you so yeah it's 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 really a bit depressing isn't it but we're going to stay positive we're just going to enjoy ourselves at home uh crafting aren't we christmas crafting to keep us positive and eat some festive food and watch some nice tv and listen to nice music that's all we can do isn't it really so uh you know and and I suppose, like for me, I like watching people on YouTube and things. So, uh, and I suppose if you're watching me, you like doing that kind of thing too. So, anyway, I'm going to go and I'll see you again later. Okay, bye. Welcome back. I think today is going to be quite short and sweet today, actually, because I don't feel like I've done much filming at all. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I've been up to today. And I think that's all I'm going to do uh, filming today, unless I do a little bit of the garden room. So if a little bit of the garden room comes up at the end, uh, then you'll know why. But I'll be just saying goodbye here. But I'll show you what I've been doing. Now, if you've seen my pyjamas that I recently made, the Carolyn uh, pyjamas, by closet core patterns just to let you know i can spell pajamas but um american spelling's different and i think they might be american so they um they they spell it different to us if you if you see my post on instagram you think you can't spell pajamas i've just copied how they've done it on the pattern but i had some fabric left because if you remember jill sent me a, a meter because i didn't have enough to finish the sleeves so with the little bit of uh, got left i've made an uh, a matching eye mask which I'm really pleased with. Um, I used shape wise, I can't actually see it. It's basically, I had a kit a long time ago, the House of Alistair eye mask and um and i made like a scent a, like a scented one a filled one and i basically just used the uh, template for that which it's on there somewhere but i haven't i made it different to a uh, house of alistair because i haven't done filled it and done it scented and i've you know i've just done it different and then the thing i'm probably most excited about is i've made a pajama bag and uh, to keep my pyjamas in and I've embroidered my name on it so I'm really pleased with that so uh, I've made these bags many many times I've made them as odd sock bags for my family with their names on I've made them larger sizes for pump bags and things so yeah I'm, I'm absolutely delighted so I've got a nice matching set so even though I'm planning to wear the pyjamas on Christmas day um, when I go away somewhere I plan to to, like pop those in my little bag and I can take them on little mini breaks when we're allowed to do that kind of thing again and like I am a little bit worried about everything that's happened because we were meant to be um having Christmas dinner out now we've got to have dinner at home so we've got to try and set up a, a table to eat it on and uh and normally I would do things differently I would have made crackers I would have made Christmas puddings back in October I would have done a lot of prep I would have made a Christmas cake months ago I would have done things up so differently but only, it's only because I've just found out you know yesterday it's definitely get, not going to be happening our Christmas meal so um in the pub so yeah so I'm a little bit downhearted about it so yes Christmas dinner's not going to be all um that special if I'd know, had a bit more notice that it wasn't going to happen maybe I could have you know, done a bit of prep, but never mind. So, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you've seen something of enjoyment. I feel like I've hardly done any filming at all, but I think I need to give you all a break with what the long video yesterday. So, thanks a lot for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.